Okay, um, Wadox Studios here, and today we are going to go over to Couch Co op local multiplayer template. Um, there's been some changes to the input system and uh, a couple other things. Um, I think just some actual um, bugs based around the way the new enhanced input subsystem implementation is in UE 5.1. So I'll try to go over a few different options to work around these issues. Um, right now I'm just, you know, pick the uh, project and I'm giving it a name and giving it a store location and we're uh, gonna start fresh. Okay, so you're gonna get these two um, notifications right here as soon as you open the project up. It's basically like, hey, input component class is gonna be upgraded. Now, if you was to start, you hit play, you're gonna get a whole bunch of errors here. Now, some people are gonna rework this around enhanced input um, and that's fine if you want to do it that way. Um, other people may prefer to just go back, right? So if you go to plugins, you go to enhance input, you can just disable the plugin, restart the project. And you're now going to be on the old input system. So you're not going to need to, you know, remap all of your inputs. Um, if you go to your project settings, all of your inputs are going to be listed under action mappings and under axis mappings. So you should still be good to go here. Um, now, <laughs> if I was to hit play due to the new enhanced input system, um, there seems to be some project settings that no longer function. We used to have this really nifty uh, skip player uh, skip assigning gamepad to player one so that the keyboard could always be player one and then the rest of the indexes would be, you know, uh, the first controller would be player two, the third, second controller would be player three third controller would be player four. You wouldn't have a direct one-to-one -one mapping between game pads and keyboard mouse input. Um, so if I was to do nothing and hit play, um, and by the way, I do have uh, two game pads plugged in. So if I hit start on the first game pad, as you can see, it's not skipping. So first gamepad controls the first player here's the funny thing if I hit start on the second gamepad nothing happens at this point and we have all these nice little nifty errors that start to crop up and um, I've gotten this screenshot from a few people so uh, the issue here is with this skip logic so we can we can undo this because it doesn't function anyway the very first player controller is being assigned to the first character no matter what that that we need to now understand that that checkbox doesn't do anything so that it when we do hit start on the first controller it does what we expect so we have a one-to-one -one correlation with the number of the player controller and the index of the local player. Um, and that will allow us to fix these issues, um, troubleshoot them without issue. Um, now, what I've done in my um, 
project is right here at this create local player node because I, I do believe that this is the problematic issue is it's saying hey I need to create a local player controller and an index and then we are going to um, add this player controller to this array here and track it um, if the player start index uh, matches player itself then we're doing this logic so you can directly correlate this index to this local player controller if we were to compile this you'll get an error on the first controller because it already exists um, and you have this little tick box here we don't want to untick that box because we do want to spawn the player controller for the other subsequent players um, again this wasn't an issue before it just seems to be an issue now so we're going to cl clear this log hit play if I hit enter on the keyboard you'll see that it spawns the first player if I hit start on the first controller nothing's going to happen because the first controller and the keyboard are now the same index but if I hit start on the second controller you'll see here that I have control over the second controller um, you're also going to get this already a local player exists for player user ID 0 and that's because since the update it appears that they're automatically creating a player controller for player index and they're now um, outputting this error uh, it doesn't impact the logic or the way this works um, and then just for good measure we'll go back to this skip keyboard uh, thing because I haven't really checked to see if that's gonna impact the player nope it doesn't so yeah your gamepad one is just always going to be uh, you know linked up to the keyboard input like right now I'm hitting enter on the keyboard and then I'll hit play again and this time I'll hit start on the uh, controller it's just the index it's always going to be a one to one correlation no matter what um, but yeah so that's that is the easiest way to get the project working with the old system um, and I'll likely go over I guess enhance input uh, for those of you who are interested in moving to that system um, until next time guys